What I want to show you how to do now is to make proportional symbols on Google Earth. As you can see now, M shed is the greatest value and Queen square the smallest. But I'm going to show you how to make something like this. Again, step one is delete everything in that temporary places folder. Close down the program and open up GE graph again. Um, if you don't find it by typing in here, if you look through all the programs, it should be there somewhere. I now can't find it. Again, exactly the same as before. If you open up the Google Earth pins that you have in the shared area, or you may have dragged them onto your desktop. And again, you'll see them placed down here. So if I put the values in again, 5, 23, 40, and 30, um, I'm going to give it a shorter title this time, which is not correct, but you can put your own in. Um, show the title in GGAR. Before, we had the size constant, but this time, because we're making a proportional symbol, so the size of the symbol increases with the value. We want it according to value. The height, let's, this is the height of the ground, we want it to stay the same. So if you put it 50 meters, that's probably going to be quite high. So maybe try 50 centimeters. And let's have the color constant. Uh, put my favorite color on again. And if we click run, you will see it opens up in Google Earth again. You may have already noticed a couple of mistakes I made. Again, you can go back and change these. And we'll spot these when it loads up in a second. Okay, so flying into Bristol, we can see that A, the symbols are too big, they all overlap, and B, there's no values on them. So if we go back to here, try putting automatic scale on, you can fill around with this, and also we need the place name and value. Run, and hopefully it makes the corrections for you. And that is how you make proportional symbols on Google Earth.